Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 12, 2024, during the Pentagon press briefing, the United States announced an emergency military aid package worth $300 million to support Ukraine, in response to Congress blocking additional funding. This announcement coincided with a visit from Polish leaders to the White House, who warned of the escalating threat from Russia. President Biden emphasized the importance of this arms delivery, but also acknowledged its inadequacy in the long term, urging Congress to approve the larger $60 billion aid package for Ukraine. The White House stated that this package, the 55th tranche of assistance, marked the first aid delivery since December. It includes a variety of military equipment such as Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, additional ammunition for HIMARS, Atoms missiles, 155mm artillery shells, including improved high-explosive and dual-use cluster munitions, 105mm artillery shells, AT-4 anti-armor systems, additional ammunition for small arms, demolition ammunition for obstacle clearance, spare parts, maintenance, and other auxiliary ammunition. This aid package became possible due to savings made by the Pentagon on other purchases, allowing President Biden to bypass the Republican-controlled House of Representatives. Jake Sullivan, the White House National Security Advisor, warned that Ukraine is currently facing one of the most perilous phases of the war since the Russian invasion in February 2022. The recent advances made by Moscow in eastern Ukraine, after months of stalemate, are causing growing concern in the West. During the White House briefing, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan highlighted that the aid is crucial as Ukraine does not have enough ammunition to fire back. President Joe Biden, in a meeting with Polish President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk at the White House, stated, the package includes munitions and rounds to help Ukraine hold the line against Russia's brutal attacks for the next couple of weeks, adding, we must act before it is too late. CIA Director William Burns also emphasized the cost of inaction, warning that Ukraine is running out of ammunition, and we're running out of time to help. Poland, which has accommodated around a million Ukrainian refugees, is among the NATO allies particularly concerned about the paralysis in Washington. Polish President Duda, who met with the US President on March 12, 2024, proposed that NATO members increase their defense spending to 3% of GDP in response to the war in Ukraine, noting that Poland already spends around 4%, while the US spends 3.5% on its defense. That's all for now, see you later.